Hello and welcome back to Football Index Moneyball with the next instalment in the Pick of the Day series. For today's pick, I've gone for a young striker who's had a pretty rough 18 months in terms of first team opportunities. But if you consider his 17-18 season and the underlying stats, it looks like once given the opportunity again, it could be a potential star. I'm actually pretty good about this one as after doing all the research and creating the plan for the video on Wednesday, things have actually took a pretty drastic turn and the price has rocketed. I've decided to push on with the video though as it now looks like there could be a potential route for him to the Prem next season and thankfully the target profits had enough room to handle the rise. What I will do though is leave the original comparable purchase options who are still priced around that level where the player was sitting prior to the rise. So in the video today we're going to look at how after coming through one of Europe's best academies in recent years he's picked up a number of trophies both at youth and senior level. And following this, he earned himself a big money move at 20 years old to one of Europe's best talent spotting teams. We'll look back at his first season following that move to try and understand the potential that should be there when he manages to work his way back to regular first team football. And to finish off, we have the usual profit target analysis, which despite the rise, still has some great potential. And if anything, the likelihood of reaching the higher level target is now arguably increased. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, you can hit the bell icon or you can follow me on Twitter by searching for at Index Moneyball. If you're new to Football Index and you haven't signed up yet, I have some referral links in the video description for both the Index and for Football Index Edge. I've also set up a Patreon page to help support the channel and keep the videos coming. Membership comes with some added bonuses such as having your name, social media tag or company listed on a video, additional player picks, the first of which are going to be released today. And also for the higher tier patrons, there's a portfolio review session if you want them. So for today's pick, I went for Jean Kevin Augustine. And as you can see, he's actually right here at the top of the risers list in squad players today with a 20p rise in 24 hours. For those of you who, like me, hadn't heard of Jean Kevin Augustine before this week, he's a 22 year old centre forward who spent the first half of the season on loan at Monaco from RB Leipzig, but now looks set to move on loan with an option to buy to Leeds who are currently second in the championship and have a really good chance of going up this year. After coming through the PSG Academy, Augustine broke through to the first team at 18 in the 2015-16 season. He went on to make 31 senior appearances before being snapped up by Leipzig for £14.4 million in the summer of 2017. After a solid first season where Augustine managed 12 goals and 6 assists over 37 games at a combined rate of 0.81 per 90, Last year saw his opportunities limited, and although he's managed 8 goals and 2 assists in 30 appearances, he averaged just under 45 minutes per game. In summer, after reported interest from Everton, Aston Villa, Crystal Palace and Nice, Augustin made the move on loan to Monaco, with a reported 20 million clause making the deal permanent. At Monaco, he has really struggled for the opportunities so far this season, only playing 532 minutes over 13 appearances, hence the reasoning for cutting the loan short. Looking at his 12 month graph, Augustine had previously peaked to 81p on September 1st, which was the day he made his move on loan. Now after the lack of playing time, he'd been down over 20% from that price at 63p when I started the research, which is what put him on my radar. And for this pick, I really think to emphasize the benefit that you can get from detailed research, I actually hadn't really been aware of Augustine until I delved into the 22 year old forward category. After checking his history and watching some highlights, I realised that he was a hidden gem waiting for some kind of circumstance change to send his price back upwards, but I really hadn't expected anything so quickly. So now with his price up over 35% at 88p, we've lost the resistance level entry point that had fallen down around the 60p mark. I still wanted to highlight the graph, as when you see this holding pattern, then it can be a good sign that there's a flaw beneath the player's price, so keep an eye out for that in your own research. The exception to this could be an older player as they'll naturally decline as they get closer to retirement. So be careful with that when you're doing your analysis. Before moving on, one thing that I wanted to highlight as well that I found during the research is that he actually reached that level of 63p for the first time back in the summer of 2018. And by September of that year, he was up as high as 74p. This would have been a huge price at the time as Neymar was only £4.48 as the most expensive player on the index. So again, it's, it's useful to invest in a site like Football Index Edge if you can use it to look at the historical prices beyond the one year. Moving on to transfer marked, you can see that Augustin already has a pretty impressive trophy haul, including a French title, a French cup, two league cups and a Euro under 19s title from 2016, where he won the golden ball with six goals in five games, beating out his strike partner Mbappe. 
Following the tournament, he immediately got a call up to the France under 21s, where he played nine games, scoring five goals. But after his lack of game time at Leipzig and now Monaco, he hasn't played for them since March 2018. Looking at Augustin's stats, he has 131 games with 35 goals and 14 assists. This works out to a combined 0.7 per 90, which is actually quite impressive considering that he's had long spells on the bench and averages only 48 minutes per appearance. For his position, he's largely been used as a centre forward to the point where I wouldn't really say that versatility is one of the benefits of this pick. For his detailed stats, I've compiled all of his senior appearances from the last three seasons taken from FootMob, and if we factor in the limited opportunities that he's had, I think this is a really good base for him to build on as he develops and hopefully finds a home where he can be a regular starter. His key passes and passes are a little on the low side at 0.9 and 24 per 90, but his shots and dribbling figures are very promising with 1.9 and 3.9 attempts per game, with 1.1 on target and 1.4 successful dribbles. So moving on to the profit target analysis for this pick, as I mentioned earlier, I've used the same comparable purchase options that I planned on using for Augustine when he was 63p, and I've also used the same targets. The profits that I was aiming for are obviously lower now, but I still think there's room for him to grow. For this pick, I managed to stick to all 22-year-old centre forwards who have not yet won any PB or MB, which actually pushed the top end price up a fair amount from the player that I'd wanted to use, but I like to try and keep consistency, so since the alternate player Luka Jovic has won a fair amount of PB and MB, I switched him for Lataro Martinez. For my comparable purchase options, I went for Diamata at Anderlecht and Cardona at Brest. Cardona is a pretty interesting one, as he actually was sold by Monaco just prior to the arrival of Augustin, so I guess in their eyes, Augustin was the better of the two options. Cardona actually has a pretty impressive goal and assist tally of 0.79 per 90, but a lot of his games have been at youth level, or from his loan spell in Belgium last year, so the results could be a little skewed. Cardona's also actually injured right now, but having said that, I think that he's a pretty good price, and he's a good option at the price range that I was previously looking at. But when you consider all the evidence, I think that Augustin has a lot more going for him in terms of his experience and potential to be a top class player. Then for Demata, he has a lower goal and assist record with 0.6 per 90 versus Augustin's 0.7. And he's also been injured all season since signing for Anderlecht from Wolfsburg in summer following a successful loan spell last year. So at the time, I think it was a fairly easy decision to go for Augustin based on the potential for PB and transfer speculation. But now with the price rise, I think the other two are definitely worth consideration as well, as if they were to be linked with a the transfer, then you could possibly see a similar reaction. For my low target, we have another player who's yet to feature this season due to injury, in Sam Lammers of PSV. Now Lammers actually had a great season out on loan with Herenveen, where he managed 16 goals and 5 assists in 31 Eredivisie games. So considering the links to Leeds and the potential for Augustine to play in the Prem next season, I think it would not take much for him to surpass this price if a deal went through, or if he stayed at Monaco and managed to get a few starts. For my mid-target, I went for another French striker in Jean-Philippe Mateta of Mainz. Mateta joined Mainz in summer of 2018 from Lyon, and he had a great first season last year with 14 goals and 2 assists in 34 games. But this season he's been out injured until December, so he's only made 4 appearances so far, scoring 2 goals. Considering the fact that he's only played 149 minutes, that's still a pretty decent start to the season for him, and I actually think that if he can replicate the form from last season, then his price is going to rise even further, and he'll likely be linked with a transfer to a bigger club in summer. So I think this is a decent target for Augustine if he moves to Leeds and they are looking like they're going to be promoted, or if he was to stay at Monaco, get some starts, score some goals, and maybe post a few good PB scores, and then possibly get links to the Prem in the summer. For my high target, I went for Lataro Martinez at Inter Milan. Now as I said earlier, this is not an ideal comparison as Lotaro is playing week in week out at Inter and he's been linked with a host of big clubs. But a few things I found interesting were that Martinez and Augustin actually have some of the similar stats when it comes to goal contributions with 0.73 for Martinez versus 0.7 for Augustin and also for peak PB scores with 213 versus 212 respectively. Augustin's score came back in 2018, so at the time it would have been a pretty massive score and he's been unlucky really to not come away with a PB win there. So that gives us a profit target range of 24% for the low, 49% for the mid and 213% for the high. I left on the original price targets so you can see that if I'd managed to get the video out it would actually have been the highest set I've had for a player to date. But as things stand, I actually think that this set of targets is still pretty attractive and whether he leaves Monaco now or moves in the summer, in the long term, I'm confident that we're going to be hitting the 100% target I'm looking for over the next 12 months. 
And if things went our way and he managed to find himself in good form playing in the Prem next season, then I think the high target's a realistic possibility if you factor in the growth of the index as well. That's all we've got for you on today's pick. Again, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment and subscribe. Also, if you know someone else who might like the video, then sharing with them would really help me out. There are links in the description for signing up to Football Index and Football Index Edge if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the other videos on the channel for more strategy videos and the other picks of the day. Most picks are long-term holds with depressed prices for some reason or other, so often the picks can still offer the same value, if not better, a few weeks after. And the research methods and reasoning can help if you're new to the index and want to learn to analyse your own players. Thanks for watching. Good luck on the index.